we've talked about this on an episode before. It was old. Season, season one. It's old. Um, I we were at a friend's house, actually with Tim Gordon, who was on the midnight special last week. Mm-hmm. We meet. We got. We were riding four wheelers. Me and him collided. I flew off, broke my arm. He rolled off, and the four wheeler rolled on top of him. Everybody ran to him, thinking that he, <laughs> he was, was a lot more hurt. He was a lot worse. I did not see him or even know what was going on with him because I just I flew off, tried to stop myself again, but it was such it was it so wasn't like trying time. to stop myself because it happened so fast. It was that, reactionary. Whew, yeah, you, protect your face. Yeah, it Probably. just it was like it no, it wasn't even reactionary because it was just something my arms were kind of there okay. and it happened. Wow. Um I remember hitting the ground and just sliding so far because mm-hmm. I was going so fast and then I got up and I'm like, "Oh crap, my arm is like a limp noodle." <laughs> <laughs> and And by that you mean the two bones in your forearm broke well actually it broke three times it broke three times but it looked like your whole arm the brace that goes through your freaking forearm Mm. which did just snapped and half of your forearm was just hanging straight down yeah it It was was unnatural to see it was being held on by skin and muscle and tendons yeah the but the structure was gone yeah it was broken and that was weird. The worst part was like, I remember you kept saying, oh man, I gotta tell Miss Hutto because it was <laughs> at our friend's house. The thing that was going through my mind at the time, I was going in shock because it's such a bad injury. But the thing mainly, I remember, I don't remember a lot because I was going into shock, but the only small thing that I remember was me it was at the beginning of the summer and i'm like oh man i'm not gonna be able to do anything this summer i had like i was gonna go to camp i was going to do all this stuff and and instantly you're not doing it i couldn't i mean i went i ended up going to one camp the wilds but we had like a boy scout camp that was they were going to be canoeing for like four days straight you down can't the canoe river with a broken arm can't canoe with a broken yeah because you can't get the cast wet most of the and time and you also can't even paddle yeah you know that's too much pressure too much work on that arm so i ended up i you ended up going on that trip and i yeah. never got to which might be a blessing we did do some fun stuff but we all were burnt with second and third degree burns from the sun on that mm. trip so there was like an overcast shadow of like oh we are all in so much pain from yeah. that trip so I just remember as soon as it happened, I'm like, crap, not going to be able to do anything this summer. It's going to be bad. Okay. So you're, what was the, what was that feeling real quick? What was that feeling? Was it just like sad, angry, um, a mild bummer? What was it? Uh, A little bit sad. I mean, and we briefly, briefly talked about this on a midnight special one time Mm -hmm. with the GoFors, but to me. (laughs) Just keep going. <laughs> to a lot of things and this is kind of my journey into becoming an adult um a lot of things has happened to me as a young kid a teen to going to my adult years to where things have just happened mm-hmm. and it seemed like i'm not just trying to be like oh poor me but it did always happen kind of to me. I mean, you can test to this. You were always getting hurt. I was the one always getting hurt. So it was like another thing during the summer. It's like, oh, man, the summer's another summer. I just mm-hmm. got to clock in and not do anything. Gotcha. But, so a little bit of disappointment, but I still got to actually, I got to go to the wild. So I had fun. I did some things, but wasn't able to do everything. 